All right, time to get started here. This is Lord Cyan. I'm trying to help you guys. I get a lot of questions all the time about people wondering how to add a patch. Now, there's multiple ways you can do it in Windows. And I'm going to attempt to show you the way I do it, which tends to be a lot easier than using Git Bash or the Git GUI interface, which I've actually never used. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to get Trinity Core. We need the core. I'm going to go ahead and type it in here if it'll let me. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. There we go. Starting with Git Clone, of course. This will get you all the major files. This is going to take a very, very long time on my computer. I'm using VirtualBox, running Windows 10, 64-bit. I'll probably skip past this part when I edit the video. All right, that took about 25 minutes on this slow virtual box. Anyways, now that it's downloaded or cloned, by default Trinity Core will give you all the files you need that will be working with World of Warcraft patch 7.2.5 I believe and we want to switch to 335A. So first we have to go into the folder and we have to check out 335A. We want to make sure we have it spelled right. So get branch A will give us a list of all possible branches and there's a lot. I haven't checked out most of these but we are going to deal with just the first one which is Remotes Origin 335. So we want to get check out 3.3.5. We don't have to write remotes origin. They're all remotes origin. Now it'll check it out. Takes a couple seconds. Usually it's pretty instant. If for some reason you weren't able to clone, you can check out my other video that shows how to set up Windows properly so that this can be done. If you hear me say a lot of ums and uhs, this is my first video. Guess I can blab a little bit while we're waiting for this to be done. All right, it is done. Now the patches I'm going to be using are from my repository at git.realmsofwarcraft.com. The link will be down below. They're from the Lord Cyan patches. Well, we have to get those first. Go up a directory, and we're going to have to clone that. That's the whole address. I copied and pasted it. It is going to ask you for a username and password. You'll have to put your username and password in when you get it. You can sign up at git.realmsofwarcraft.com and gain access. Well that took a little while as well. There are lots of patches. I believe there's currently 53 patches and they all work together real nice because of a pre-patch I created. Now, there's, there's multiple ways you can do this but your best bet is to open a folder where your patches are and to copy the pre-patch. I know the window is not large enough for you to see me click copy but I clicked copy and I'm gonna click paste. Now we go back to our wonderful little window. Move the mouse out of the way. We need to go back into Trinity Core 
and we are going to apply the pre-patch. It's 335A underscore pre-patch dot patch. Like I had mentioned before, you can use a Git GUI. There's some other ways to patch. This is the easiest. It lets you know what it's patching. It'll patch even if there's small little errors. Normally my patches don't have errors, but if there are errors, please post an issue on my Git site. So we're going to use the patch command, which is very simple. It's patch dash p1. p1, I think it just means first patch, because you can do p2, p3, and then you can remove different patches individually. Kind of a pain, not exactly sure what it's about. I always use p1 no matter how many patches I'm applying. But we are adding the pre-patch. And because it's Windows, it doesn't like the binary stuff. Everything came through fine, if you'll notice, such as patching file, blah, blah, blah. There were no errors. Now we have the pre-patch done. So we have to go and grab a patch. And for this example, I'm going to be placing Beastmaster, which is a simple patch that has an NPC that allows you to purchase a pet for your hunter. There's also options for non-hunter pets. They are in the current patches folder. Beastmaster is right here. I'm going to copy it. This time I'm going to use control C. Go back into Trinity Core stuff and we paste it. Now the patch is in there. We go back over here, do the same command. Everything seemed to patch correctly. I recommend removing the patch files once you've applied them. It doesn't make any difference whether you do or not. But then, now they're patched and ready to go and all you have to do is go into CMake and do your normal compile. I have a video for that as well if you would like to see how that is done. All other YouTubers always say make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this.